I think the Atrikine UKS3 is a well-built ukulele and a good value for the money. The UKS3 is a priced a little lower than other ukes in its class. However, its tone, playability, and build quality were on par with most of the other good starter ukes I've reviewed. The included gig bag was one of the best I've seen in a budget ukulele package. However, the UKS3 doesn't include a clip-on tuner, which is really useful for beginning players. Luckily, you can get a great U tuner for less than $10. I think the UKS3, UX2, and UKS1 are all good candidates for people seeking a good entry level ukulele. Build quality and materials. The H King UKS3 I received is very nicely built. Lines are sharp and clean, and all joints are tight and solid. Nice fit and finish, especially at this price. Overall, I'm impressed with the build quality and can't find anything worth complaining about. This uke is also nice and light and that's a good thing. A light instrument provides less resistance to vibration when the strings are plucked, and more vibration results in a bigger, richer tone. What? The UKS3 has a laminated sepal top, back, and sides. Sepal is similar to mahogany, but since this is a laminated ukulele, the tone with use doesn't affect the tone. The fingerboard and bridge are walnut, which is a nice-looking hardwood that I'm starting to see on more high-end instruments. Nut and saddle. I was surprised to discover that the UKS3 has a bone nut and saddle. Bone is a material you usually only find on more expensive instruments. Some people feel that bone is the best material for these parts due to its hardness and density. Many good quality ukes in this price range use tusk, which is a synthetic bone-like material. I can't tell the difference between real bone and tusk. They both sound fine to me. And either material is much better than the soft plastic nuts and saddles found on very cheap ukes. Binding, the body has black and white plastic binding on the top and back. Many ukes in this price range don't have any binding at all, so it was a nice feature to have. The quality of binding work on budget ukes can be rough, but the A-Tricking's binding was crisp, even, and smooth, in addition to protecting the edges of the body from nicks and dings. Binding helps the uke pop a little more by visually defining the edges. Finish and Decoration The UKS series of 8-tricking ukuleles have a light satin finish. I think it looks great and feels nice during play. I prefer this style of finish to the thick, plasticky finishes on some other entry-level ukes, which I feel look cheap and dead in the tone. A laser-engraved rosette and headstock logo were the only real decorations on this uke. The laser work is nice and sharp, and it adds a little flair to the ukulele without bumping up the cost. However, I kind of wish 8-tricking used a simpler rosette pattern, but that's just a personal opinion. Tone, I really like the tone of my UKS3. It's warm, sweet, and had good sustain. Overall, I'm really happy with the way it sounds. Since I was playing on a tenor size, I got plenty of volume. The smaller concert and soprano body sizes won't project as much. Playability, my Atrikin uke plays well and had reasonably low action. String height right out of the box. The neck was straight and I didn't detect any buzzes or rattles as I played up and down the neck. I might have preferred slightly lower action from the factory. Still, I don't think most players would have any major issues with the string height. I hope you found this video helpful. It's my pleasure if you're helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please comment us below. Thank you for watching this video.